In this video we're going to cover campaign policy settings. To access this you're going to open your marketing hub software. In the bottom left click on settings. It's going to take you to this page and under campaign policies we're going to cover email limits, content approval, and export policy. So let's jump right in with email limits. Now email limits this is just what it sounds it is just what it sounds like it is um, you do not want to send somebody 100 emails in a month maybe you want to send them you know four you know once you start having a lot of email campaigns going out once you start having a lot of lead nurturing you know automation emails going out you know, you might forget about these or you might have multiple people working on you know, their own projects and scheduling to send out emails well it's hard for everyone to know if people on other teams are sending out emails and so this is just kind of a safeguard which allows you to set up email sending limits and so let's go ahead and choose edit here and the first thing you'll notice you can turn it on or off um, I wouldn't suggest it turning it off I would just set some of these limits ridiculously high um, just so you don't ridiculously start sending so many emails that it, it overwhelms people. Um, so time, so we have weekly limit. So the default is send two emails a, a week. So if you have three people on your team and they're gonna send something on Monday, Wednesday, and Friday, if this here is set to two emails, the one on Friday is not gonna go out until Monday monthly email limit no limits well, you can see we can just simply adjust these it looks like it goes all the way down to 30 emails so that's one per day interval between emails so if this is set to no interval you can send emails every hour on the hour if this is set to one day then you would have to wait until at least the next day before the recipient would receive your email so that is email sending policy again this is so that we don't inundate all of our clients and leads with emails this is just a kind of a throttling mechanism to, um, to keep those emails limited in how many we send out so we come back here to campaign content approval so if we click on content approval you'll be taken here and this actually needs to be enabled and the idea here is you know say you have uh, someone that you know say an office temp you know, someone that's coming in you want them to create an email for you but you want to be able to approve those emails before they send them out um, or you know you can think through scenarios that work for your business but there's going to be times when you possibly want to you know create content approvals workflows or this is a simple workflow it's either approved or not but the idea is is we're going to click this enable content approval button and it's going to take us to this page here and you'll see here if you can see it on my screen users who do not need approval and then users who do need approval and so if my instance where I talk about the office temp having to have all of their emails approved you're going to make sure that the office temp user account is over here in this column um, you'll see view approvers and so you can click that and it will also allow you to select who is allowed to view I'm sorry who is allowed to approve these messages and finally export policy and so this is used to protect your data for when you export so sometimes if you want to say run a report to show you all the leads that have a specific tag to them and then you're going to want to export them well you can export those into a CSV file or a spreadsheet and so when you look at all of your leads all of your contacts you know all of this information is in the system but when it's exported out then there's really no security associated with that you know anyone can pick up that CSV file and open it up and um, you know read your information so this is enabled by default 
and password type. So if we do, let's do change here. And so again, if you want to turn it completely off, you can just disable it here. Now it is the default to use Zoho Marketing Hub's default password. And so the default password for Zoho Marketing is the first four letter of your email address and the last four digits of your user ID. And so if my email address is Jeff Garland at Fberg CRM, that's going to be J E. I'm sorry, my email address. Yeah, it's going to be J E F F. One three five nine, because my email address is Jeff Garland at fbergcrm.com. This user account again, you can access this. Click on your little avatar up here, and so it's the first four letters of your email address, and then the last four digits of your user ID, um, and that will allow you so that when you actually export a file. When you open that file, it's going to ask you for a password, and that's the password you use. You can set a specific password. I know that it's hard to remember Zoho's default password if you're not using it all the time. Um, and this one is a great time saver, which is you as the admin can set up so that you allow people to say, okay, well, I'm just, in, I'm going to export this, I'm going to use it immediately, and then I'm going to delete it. So you may not want to go to the trouble of actually exporting the file with a password or if say if you're exporting a file for you to send to your boss, you don't want to you you may not want to say you know open up this file and here's the password. You know JGAR1359. Instead, if this checkbox here is enabled, then when you are in your system and you go to export files it will actually allow you to choose whether to make the password mandatory and so we're just going to click click cancel here as we did not make any changes and that is it for campaign policies